guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ibex 30 pack by VanQuest Gear. Now VanQuest was very generous to send me two of these packs to test out and review for you guys. So big thank you to them. Uh, this one you've already seen in a demo video. This is the one that I have fully packed out. I keep this in the trunk of my car as a bug out bag. I just want to show you guys, you can get this thing super packed. Uh, but even though this thing is this packed about 25 pounds of gear, it is still the most comfortable backpack that I've ever owned in all my days of testing gear. Uh, and I know 25 pounds in the grand scheme of things is not that heavy compared to a lot of guys that go rucking with theirs. Uh, but that's about as heavy as I ever get. Uh, but, but still, it's still the most comfortable backpack that I've ever worn. Uh, that one is in their wolf gray coloration. And the one that I'm going to be reviewing and showing you guys today is in multicam black. All right guys, so here we are. And as I said, this is the multicam black made by Cry Precision. And it's very different. It's different looking than regular multicam. It doesn't really look overly tactical and overly, you know, military looking. Uh, it's not the typical camouflage. Very subdued, very dark. Uh, it's pretty cool though. I like the color. I definitely prefer regular multicam, but it's a really neat coloration. But this entire bag is made out of 1000 denier, lightweight Cordura ballistic nylon. And it does have the DuPont polyurethane coating. Uh, so it is uh, water resistant, dirt and grime, and abrasion resistant. All the stress points are X and box stitched and taped. What you can really expect from high quality gear nowadays. So uh, you, you have all that, all the fancy bells and whistles. Uh, all the polymer hardware on here, uh, i.e. the cord locks and the buckles, are all ITW UTX Nexus, which are a high quality mil spec polymer. So it's not the cheap, you know, 99 cent Walmart deals that you go and you buy. Uh, this, this high quality hardware, um, you know, with the buckles and with the belt, which I'll show separately. Here's the waist belt that it comes with. I wanted to show that separate and I'll show you how it attaches. Um, but as you can see, it, it does detach and it's very easy to do. Uh, the buckle is a high quality polymer buckle with the VanQuest logo on it. It's a locking buckle, so you pinch the two sides like a normal side release. And you also have to pinch that middle and then it comes out. So nice little security feature there. Uh, it is very comfortable with the belt. The belt does offer the same kind of padding as, as the back of the backpack. And it also has molly webbing so you can attach mag pouches or different types of sheaths on the outside of the belt. There's a little pocket back here at the very bottom of the, of the, uh, uh, the back pad portion. And it is hook and loop. And you can see that little hook and loop square there on the waist strap. Uh, very easy to put on. It's a little bit harder to take off, especially when you've been wearing it a while and that hook and loop really gets pressed in there. But I just want to show you guys. So you do that and you're ready to go. All right, all these zippers and zipper tracks are YKK brand and they're all the reversed zipper tracks as you can see here. So all they do is they just reverse it and that keeps out dirt and grime and moisture because you can see that's the way you know, the normal orientation of the zipper and then it's just reverse and that keeps out all the dust and grime so it keeps it from the zippers from being clogged um, but i'm sure most of you guys know but if those of you who don't ykk is the best brand of zipper on the market uh, super heavy duty and i've never out of all my years of of collecting and, and using my gear i've never had one break i've never had a ykk zipper bust and i've had my packs very full all right Let's get to the size real quick. Uh, the dimensions of this pack are 22 inches high by 13 inches wide at the widest point, and then it tapers down to 12 inches wide, and then eight inches in depth, and then it tapers, uh, it tapers down this way, but at its widest point is actually 10 inches deep. So 10 inches, and then tapers down to eight, and then uh, 12, or 13, and tapers down to 12. So you can see it's kind of, it tapers in an odd dimension, but really what it's meant for is weight distribution. And that is one of the coolest things about this pack is that it was designed with weight distribution in mind, which I know a lot of backpacks are, but I have not experienced that in, you know, most of my years of uh, trying and testing different backpacks. But this one is by far the most comfortable backpack that I've ever used when carrying a lot of weight in it uh, because of the, the way it's designed, which I'll get to here in a little bit. All right, so right off the bat on the front, you can see this big hook, uh, big hook and loop panel, good for bigger morale patches. You have a smaller hook and loop panel up here. That's for mainly name tape and identification. Not a whole lot of space there, so that's nice that they give you this bigger option down here. You know, basically, that's just good for if you're using this as a day pack or your daily carry backpack and you want to display those cool morale patches. So you don't have any molly on the front with the exception of these that actually run horizontally 
and really that's just for holding on the shock cord. Uh, you could, uh, what I have in my other one that I carry in the car is I have S-beaners attached to it and carabiners. So you can do that or, or if you have, uh, I have some reflective wristbands that I have running in mine also because it's also used as a get home bag for the car, an emergency bag. So you do that so if you're having to hike home basically motorists can see you. Uh, but on the front you do see this big area of shock cord which is bungee, fancy way of saying bungee cord. And you know you can lash uh, shirts, blankets, really anything you want within reason there. You know you can get creative, but I love having that option. So, but you are kind of out of luck if you want to attach additional packs to the front of this. But there is a ton of molly on the side. So you have three rows of basically three. There's some here, but you really can't use those. Um, I'm trying to keep all this in frame. Hope I'm doing a good job. So you have. A uh, pretty good area of molly on the sides for attaching, you know, if you want to attach one of VanQuest's fat packs on here or one of their EDC organizers or any other pack you have, you have that option on the sides. Up top you have another portion of, uh, like I said, you have another area of hook and loop and you also have another thing of shock cord. And then with this keeper is actually sewn into this little fob right here. So that's cool, it doesn't go anywhere. So you just pinch the button, draw up your cord. I like to carry water bottles a lot of times in here or small fixed blade knives. Uh, but it being attached like that, the keeper stays in place. You can just push the button and it loosens up. It does run through like with a lot of Maxpedition gear. It does have a pass through underneath that loop field. So you can stash different things in there. You have an upper zipper pocket right here. And I love how VanQuest does their zipper pulls. They do it with like a doubled over circular piece of 550 cord. You can see right there. It's really nice for gloves or if you have, you know, wet hands. But especially I've noticed it's great when you have gloves on. You can just hook your finger in there or just grab it. And you don't have to worry about a zipper, you know, rattling around. So it is quiet as well. The dimensions of this pocket are seven and a half inches wide by 11 inches deep. So it runs, it goes down all the way to where the hook and loop panel starts right here. You have a pretty good pocket right there. And it's, you know, you'd want to put your, you know, easy access, you know, stuff you need to get to pretty quick in there, maybe a first aid kit. Uh, you know, your media devices or cords or whatnot. Uh, but anyway, nice little pocket on the outside, easy access. And you can see the inside, and I'll show you also when I get to the inside, uh, you have this 210 denier nylon fabric here. It's a ripstop. And it's kind of an avocado green. It's not an OD green, nothing tactical or anything. Just kind of a neat green color for contrast, especially when you have a darker color like this. Um, I would have probably preferred high-vis orange, but that's just me. That's just my own personal preferences. Um, nothing on the bottom, but what I do like about the bottom is that it is very uh, squared off. And the way it is designed, when this thing is full, you sit it down and it pretty much stays there. It's hard to tell now, but I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but when I put my backpacks down, most of them, they just, you know, fall over. So this one does a pretty good job that when you set it down, it stays where you set it. Uh, on the side, you have two side compression straps, two on both sides, and you can actually cross these over if you want it. Don't really know why you would want to, but you can for extra compression maybe. Just want to show you that is an option. But you have two on either side and you need to unhook them to access the main pocket. So sometimes that gets kind of inconvenient, but it is what it is. It's nice that they're there. You don't have to use them also. You can just really draw these up. You don't have to use the compression straps. It's nice that they're there. Uh, but on both sides you have big, what they're used for is mainly hydration pockets. So you have these big pockets right here. Both are two liters, so you can put uh, two two liter hydration bladders in here. So that's a good amount of water. And these are very, these are much bigger than they look. And here again you have that, that uh, 210 denier ripstop nylon in there. And uh, also, and I'll, show, I'll show you when I get to the main compartment, these have uh, hose pass-throughs. So also on the outside, the shoulder straps are nicely padded. And here again, they have a ton of molly, so you can attach different things on there. Um, you know, keep your flashlight, a multi-tool, or just anything you want. Or right, mainly for running your hose down through, especially these two straps right here. So they're very comfortable, and here is the buckle to release it. And it's also kind of cool. You might not, it might not benefit you with this pack, but it is an option. Uh, you, can, you can actually turn this into a sling bag. 
So if you wanted to, you didn't have to use the strap. Unfortunately, the shoulder straps do not completely remove from the pack. So this one would kind of just be dangling unless you find a way to fold it down into the backpack. But you can actually use it as a sling bag if you wanted. So another nice option. So these are your stress points down here, but they are very heavily sewn. But just thought I'd, you know, worth mentioning that that is what's holding your backpack strap on there when this thing is loaded out. I haven't had an issue. Uh, as you can see though, they are nicely contoured. You can see how they're shaped, kind of an odd shape. But on both sides also you have two grab handles, mainly for if you're carrying this as a sling bag or you know, pick it up like this, another way to, to move it and reposition it. Uh, but you do have those two doubled over. Uh, something I have noticed is that when you put this on sometimes, those get in between your back and the padding and it's kind of uncomfortable. So you might wanna make sure these are pushed out of the way when you're gonna put this on. Just something I'd mention. And the back pad here is, you can see, it has this nice little design. It's not just for looking cool, it's actually for uh, air pass through. So it is uh, vented mesh, so it keeps you cool. And then it has that, that for airflow. So just to create a space between the back of the backpack and your back. Uh, but it is nicely padded, very thick, dense foam padding. So very comfortable. And you have a small grab handle up top. It kind of looks silly. I wish this this top this grab handle was bigger, especially for as big of a backpack as this is. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning. This is a 30 liter backpack, hence the name Ibex 30. So you you know you can get this thing pretty full. So it's kind of a flimsy um, you know grab handle in my opinion, but it gets the job done. I just wish it was bigger and more padded. But uh, here's also your two adjustment points up here for your shoulder straps. Uh, all right. Uh, one last thing, and I'll show this also when I get to the main compartment. This is your pass-through port cover for your hose. So that's where your hose would come out and it is covered with the water-resistant part of the fabric. Because the part you see in the multicam is the part that's coated in the fabric protector. The All the molly webbing and everything, all the webbing you see here is not. So not that that really matters, but just thought it was worth mentioning. All right, let's open this pack up. The two zippers to, to access the main compartment are locking zippers. So you can see they have the little hole right there so you can put a lock through if you wanted. And these zipper pulls are done different. These are done in like a hard rubber loop instead of 550 cord. So it sets them apart so you can feel the difference. Um, and they just look kind of cool. But anyway, it unzips kind of different because you can probably see the zipper pattern running down this backpack. So the cool thing about this is that when you have this thing full, you can just unzip both of these a little bit and basically you have a lid. So you know how it kind of, you see how it kind of opens like that? So that's kind of cool. So you can access stuff, you you know, when you pack your backpack, you can of course pack it however you want. You'll probably pack your most important things right up top, easy to get uh, to. Up top here, right off the bat, you have another internal zippered pocket. Uh, this one measures 11 inches wide by 11 inches deep. All right. So I'm going to open this up and show you. This fillets out like their Fat Pack series, if you're familiar with that. So, opens up very wide. Hope you guys can see all that. <laughs> all right, so it opens up very wide. And right off the bat, you can see all of the hook and loop. So the big area of hook and loop here on the flap, and then both flaps, uh, side flaps here in the middle or on the main compartment and the main compartment right there. And what that's for are hook and loop pouches. So this is truly modular. So there are no internal organizational pockets with the exception of the flat pocket right there. So what that allows you to do is take your, your hook and loop pouches and attach them in here as you see fit. Or what VanQuest includes with every Ibex 30, they'll give you a Mole Air attachment system and a mole web attachment system. So I'm, I'm actually gonna do a separate video on these two items, but what these are for is that they are, they help you organize hook and loop. So um, basically what this one is, you would attach these little hook and loop strips to your pack that's not already hook and loop, and it turns it into a hook and loop uh, easy access pouch, basically. And this one is just a neat little organizer. You'd attach anywhere on the hook and loop and you have the shock cord here that'll hold your items for you. You know, also very cool, you can put your hook and loop holsters in here or anything like that. You also have the option, you have the molly webbing here. So you have a long row on either side. 
to attach. Uh, here again, you know, pens or um, carabiners. Uh, so you're kind of limited in that regard. So you can't actually um, molly anything inside here. It's pretty much all hook and loop. But it's nice that it gives you that option. Now mine that I have that I'll do a separate video on that I keep in the car is basically set up like a long-term uh, or like a 72-hour bag. So I have big bulky items in there. So I don't actually utilize the hook and loop. I just stuff this thing full. Um, uh, but I wanted to show you real quick the pass-throughs. These are your two pass-throughs for the water bladder. One on either side, so you can do you know one or the other or both pockets. So you know you could put hydration in one pocket and you know ex extra gear in the other. You know whatever you want to do. But so what you do is you have your hydration bladder in, the, in one of the pockets, run the hose up through this little pass through along the inside of your bag and then out this port which is the port that I showed you guys earlier it goes to the outside of the bag and then just run it down one of the backpack straps and you're good to go all right guys I hope you enjoyed this review of the Ibex 30 by VanQuest highly recommend it. it is a great pack especially for the money these run about 190 uh, but I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy one and like I said I hope you enjoyed the review if you have any questions please let me know and uh, have a great rest of your day guys get outside and go on an adventure stay safe Stay sharp. God bless. Sherman 614. Peace.